Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Omega Aquarium Strategy and Tactics Episode 6. So when we last left our uh, growing aquarium here, we had just uh, added our moon jellyfish tank. Uh, and we look like we are pretty close to beginning that new starfish for our uh, ambassador tank, the Marbled Serpent Starfish. Um, and yeah, this thing is, is pretty nifty. It's, um, it's worth a decent amount of prestige for a starfish, uh, compared to the common one, which is only worth two. It helps, uh, it helps with the uh, bio load of the tank, uh, by, by offering its own filter power. Um, and it's a new species, so more prestige, more goodness. Um, let's see, what are we going to go for next? I could go for the bubble tip anemone, but we're kind of running out of floor space in that tank. I might go, I might like put one in there just, uh, just for the token. Um, because it is a decent amount, and I don't think there's anything in there that eats anemones. Um, compared to soft coral, so we could do that. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Let's just look at the lower ranks, see if there's anything else we can get. Ah, oh, yes. Um, so one of the things I was pondering was uh, fleshing out our cold water tank. Um, and this Atlantic Pollock is talking to me here. Not, not literally, but... Uh, hang on. L no image. Uh, gift shop. More gift shop. You need, to, you need to do more gift shop. Uh, da, 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 da. Spotted boxfish. Yeah, yeah, we can trade up for this thing once our marbled serpent starfish is fully grown. Um, so yeah, the Atlantic Pollock is going to be a uh, sort of a cornerstone to our uh, to another one of our tanks here. Now, it's not that prestigious. That's the thing. It's not. It's not going to rock out a bunch of prestige for us. Ugh. Uh, it is going to give us a fair amount of ecology, which is a, which is an important part uh, of this whole uh, whole deal here. Um, let me, I'm just I'm just pulling my options, just 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 pulling my options here. Um, the the uh, uh, the Ballaran Rass here, same deal. Uh, not a lot of prestige. Big big uh, big chonker of fish though. Um, so I'm not too sure about the RAS. But otherwise, I think, yeah, you know what? I think the, the Pollock is the correct answer, especially since we'll be researching it real quick. Uh, re like, real, real quick. Right then, uh, let's, uh, let's get that starfish in, in, uh, in our ambassador tank. All right, we need two more things of rocks, which means we're going to need to shuffle things around. And actually, I think we're going to need to sacrifice one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, corals here. Um, yeah, like one of the blue tubular sponges, probably, because we already we already cut one from the disco mushrooms. So let's. Um, yeah, let's cut blue tubular sponge. Go for some. Um, actually, yeah, these live rocks because that gives us two points of rocks, but also additional filter power, which is just good for everybody in the tank. Now these guys were. Um, why? Why are you? Oh, it's because they're the, the heat. Yeah, about to say. I just wanted to make sure nobody missed any feedings. But I think everyone's back up to full health now. We didn't have any any missed missed feedings because when, once once you start seeing some missed feedings, then you know you need to up your uh, your uh, feeding capacity as far as your staff go, and that's that's a tricky thing because it kind of sneaks up on you. You know, you're you're slowly adding stuff, and you know maybe adding a, a particular species is is not going to be much, or sometimes it creates a lot more work. Now I can tell you, adding that starfish isn't going to add any more work to our feeders because they're a scavenger; they eat whenever anybody else in the tank eats. Uh, so nobody has to go out of their way to feed them. Um, they just need to be in a tank with somebody else that gets fed. Uh, right then. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. Let's continue cooking. This is uh, on the on the verge of getting there, so I think we can upgrade our, our deal over here. Um, I mean, I might I might wait to upgrade it until these guys get bigger and thus demand more filter power, but at least we'll have it in the bank. The other thing I'm waiting for is some cash money. 
Um, because yeah, we we uh, we, we our, our next project is going to be a bit of an investment, uh, but I think it'll be worth it for the uh, for the you know just to just to bring out some cold water representatives here. And I think I'm going to like research a couple of different cold water representatives. I might even do like a cold water ambassador tank. Uh, just in the way that we did a warm water ambassador tank, that might be a thing worth trying. Uh, it might be a little bit harder to balance out, but since um, uh, Tim, uh, the developer, said that um, guests are willing to get benefit from up to three posters, we already have two spoken for, we can get one more. I think because of the nature of the challenge um, that we're doing, where you have to unlock all the species, our third poster, our duplicate, will be another ecology poster. Um, because there's a lot more fish that need to be unlocked than there are technologies that need to be unlocked. Because, I mean, we're already sort of rocketing through here. Um, mega heater, that's not going to be needed yet. We could do the feeding stick dispenser um, for our, uh, our, our tricky fish. Yeah, let's do the feeding stick. Just, just so that we have it uh, have it available to us. There's the Atlantic Pollock. That was pretty quick. Now, I know we have access to the Cuckoo Wrasse through a trader, so we don't necessarily need to go out of our way to uh, get the Cuckoo Wrasse going uh, early. So let's flip over to the next page here. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we already determined that the Ballerin Wrasse isn't actually that good. I might I might give them a miss, at least, at least in, the, in the short term. Uh, looking at our rank seven, the common cuttlefish. Now this thing, and this is where that that feeding stick might come into this. This is high skill required. Um, that we we may want to get a new feeder for that. This is what I'm talking about. You know, feeding um, uh, being a, being an issue going forward here. But yeah, I think the common cuttlefish might be a really good addition because that that can spike our our. Uh, prestige up high. I mean, that's that along with the green moray eel are like the highest um, the highest things that we can do here. So yeah, let's get the common cuttlefish. I think that will pay off in spades along with some of the others. Alright, we got our Talkie McTalkersons going, uh, going at it, which is good. And yeah, it looks like our feeders are keeping on top of things here, so I'm not too worried about them and uh, and, and having them not quite be able to finish their, their deals here. Uh, what's your issue? Hunger. Alright, so we actually, we are a little bit, um, we are a little bit behind, because yeah, the day flipped over and we were still feeding people. Um, so we may need one more feeder. Like I don't think we're at the yeah. I mean, look at this, Caleb. Caleb, yeah. I think especially since we're getting into the high skill required feedings, I think Caleb is going to be our our skilled feeder person here. If you can afford his high salary, though. I mean, look at that, Caleb. Caleb is expensive. Um, maybe we can do, like, I mean, Yazin here is, is just about as good at a three feeding, um, but much cheaper. Uh, GG is, uh, is pretty good too. Yeah, Yvonne, Yvonne, not so, not so much. Um. I'm just looking for some, all right, two feeding, hang on, Bianca. Bianca's actually, Bianca's actually a really good feeder uh, for only 26 a day and they've got good empathy. Um, so they're naturally better at it than their baseline stats are. So you know what, Bianca, come on down. You are so much cheaper than 70 bucks a day. Um, so, but it, 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 we ain't, it, it ain't Bianca. Let me consult, uh... Malena, welcome aboard. Alright, um... Now, you're not the only one to, to have that. Um, let's see here. 
Now the muscles, yeah, I'm going to say no muscles for you. Because um, you don't have the backpack. All right, we are. Yeah, let's let's actually start building our shell here. Uh, I have a I have a few ideas. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to scooch this over, um, and by it I don't actually mean the new tank. The the, um, the I'm gonna scooch the moon jelly tank over a bit. I was looking at it and it was bothering me a little bit. The the thing that was bothering me is the moon jelly tank doesn't actually quite line up with the main thing here. It's not wide enough. And that lack of symmetry is, 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 is bothering me a little bit. So we're going to move the moon jelly tank nearby, obviously, but we're going to put our new tank right, right here in the middle. Um, so let's, um, I think we're going to scooch it over here. You know, we can keep everything else the same with that. Yeah, that should be good. I'll move the coffee machines and such. Um, we'll probably move the uh, yeah the staff door over here. Um, we'll obviously want to move the uh, stairs and platform. Oops, no, don't move that. All right, coffee machine. Coffee machine's gonna go here. Gonna make the area a little bit tighter. And actually, what I might do, let's flesh this all out a little bit more, just to give people some room. And then we can put the the, uh, the the creature comforts a little bit further back against this wall. All right. Let's get a wall here so people don't go a sneaking. That should be good. And I think what we need to do is let's get these couches flipped around, moved out of the way. These couches might still be in the way as well. Um. Yeah, that one's fine, right there. And then I do like the whole couch, like right in front of the tank, like that. We'll scooch this over a little bit further. But now, now we have a nice big space. Um, now for the tank here, I was looking at some of our specialized one, like the jetty tank. Um, now these tanks have uh, a little ways for people to interact with them. Uh, and therefore the tank itself can generate a little prestige, which is pretty nice. Uh, so this jetty tank lets people walk up on this platform and take a look down at the fish. Uh, and that bird's eye view, some people happen to like. Um, now what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little bit of math here. Um, the, um, to me, I think this is the correct width here. And if we scoot you over one... Yeah, this actually perfectly fits. Obviously, we're not going to seal off the entrance here, but... Um, and actually, we don't want you right against the wall either. We want you, like, right here. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Um, yeah. All right. Let's open up the wall here just a smidge. I know we're running out of, out of cash, and we're not actually going to do anything with this tank yet until we build back up our funds. I just kind of wanted to place it so that we had it. Um, yeah, we'll scoot you both back a little bit. Uh, we'll get some walls back here. Then, yeah, we'll reconnect that tank. And then, obviously, this is going to be our other tank. But since we don't have the money for the machines, I'm not going to hook it up um, so this other tank doesn't deplete our, our stuff here. All right. Uh, yeah, three, uh, uh, 368. We do need to just um, 
just grind away, but I think we've 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 repaired everything that needs to be done. And now this tank can hold 105, um, which off of two chillers and combined with this one will be able to handle all that. So these these two cold water tanks. That's the, right, the reason why we can go over the 90 limit here. Yeah, these guys are, they're a little disappointed that there's nothing in the tank. Um, well, I guess we can start loading it up. We are gonna need another chiller here. Another large chiller. Um, and now we can, uh, now we can hook up both tanks. Because there's nothing in this other tank that's going to be using up the filter power, so at least not yet, anyway. Um, let's actually we can we can actually start we can sort of baseline seed some of these. Like let's just get something in there so the tank itself isn't uh, causing us a problem. We can also put in the frilled anemone. That's not a bad thing. Although we're going to need the lights, and those are going to be more expensive. So let's start with the Atlantic Pollux here. Um, we do have sand eel boxes. Um, so that should be okay. Animal size 1 to 3. Yeah, I think we're okay. Um, well, actually, before we place the Atlantic Pollock in there, let's just get a uh, protein skimmer placed just so that these guys have some additional filter power. All right, so then, do we even have the money for an Atlantic Pollock? And actually, do the Atlantic Pollocks need anything as far as, um, like rocks and such? No, they don't actually need anything for that. Not enough money. Okay, let's just, let's just wait. We can wait. The other thing, uh, and I know we have these, oh, Zephyra is leveled up. Zephyra. Yeah, you're actually decently good at both of the things that you do. I think I'm going to keep you topped off as, uh, um, we'll go for fixing for now, but then after that I'm going to make you uh, go a little bit further. Not the fan shrimp, not the French angel fish, not the Adolfo cuckoo wrasse. Here we go. So these guys need a little bit of caves. Um, two cuckoo wrasse for 500 and some odd. That's actually not too bad. I think I might just buy into them. Um, so we're going to need a total of four cave power to uh, keep the two of them happy. Um, Rocky overhang should be fine. That also prevent the tank from having the, the this is a sparse tank um, penalty. Because whenever there's zero objects in the tank, people don't uh, don't tend to like it. That's the other reason I put the rocks, uh, the rubble down. Oh, whoa, oh, I bit did, whoa, whoa, I did, no, 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 no. You are not where you belong. Get out of here. Nope. No seeing behind the scenes. Pay no attention to the man. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Someone pointed out that um, I, I blocked the pathway here, and that is wrong. So I'm just going to put the uh, the bookshelf over there. Now our employees can bounce between these two areas much more quickly. Okay, uh, crisis averted. Now we just need to get our money uh, money up so that we can get our uh, Pollux here. We got a glitter bug. All right, I think we can get take our uh, or not a pollock, a cuckoo rass. There we go. Perfect. Now we actually have some fish in this tank, so people shouldn't get uh, start complaining about it. And we <laughs> we spent that money just in time. Uh, anything new? Yeah, that's fine. I've I've come to terms with the fact that the eggs and the spawns will not always uh, not not always make it, but that's that's all right. It is a, it is a cruel world out there, but 
what can you do? Oh yeah, let's um, let's move these up a, a smidge so that people can actually use them. And yeah, this is the perfect thing because people are coming in and they come up here, land on the landing, and get a nice impressive view of our of our brand new spiffy tank. Um, you're right then. So, um, as far as our Pollux go, yeah, these guys are actually pretty cheap. Now, let me just check, let me just check some math here. So, size 11. So, these guys are a total of, so this is a 105 tank. Um, so we've lost 22 off of that. And we want to make sure we have room for the cuttlefish. So, and these guys are 16 apiece. I think I might just do two of them. One, two. Just like that. Because they're going to grow up to, uh, to be some big boys. Now, how much either how much are the low powered lights for for this particular um thou, yeah 1,200 so i want to put the the anemones in there the the cold water one but we need to save up for that um and we might just get into the cuttlefish first which obviously don't need the lights but the nice thing about these these paul like even though they're 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 uh, Kind of basic um, is that they generate us a fair amount of ecology, uh, which helps us with the unlocking of the rest of our stuff. I'm still on the fence about making this our, our third ecology poster. I mean, we could always hook up a, a, an ecology poster temporarily and then just move it to a better tank once we have a better tank. Uh, speaking, speaking of a better tank, let's go small tunnel tank. We're starting to run out of text uh, to research here. We're also starting to get more things breaking than we can keep up with. So I think it is time we get another fixer in the mix here. Uh, let's see here. Feeding, fixing. You're actually pretty decent at fixing. And we can do the whole... Actually, you're pretty good at feeding, too. All right, Wade. All right, all right, you're in. But you are not Wade. You're Boyd. And fixing takes priority. Now, with another co-current fixer, we are going to need to make sure we provide another tool station. Um, let's uh, let's provide one over here, just to keep it keep it handy in you know, one in each sort of zone here. Because, yeah, we're starting to run low on, on stuff. You know, things are starting to get uh, a little bit lower than I'd be comfortable with. Alright, uh, shark has grown, but nothing else. That's fine. Please, please get that, that heater. Thank you. Yeah, we were definitely running short here. Aha! So, our, um, our tank here is... is uh, oh, right, no, never mind. It was just in need of maintenance. I was about to say, here I thought we were, we were outgrowing it. But that's okay. We're good. We're good. Now, once we get these um, these cuttlefish down, I think we're going to want to um, have someone start bragging about them. Um, you guys think it's turbo time? It might be turbo time. Um, or we could go for the bubble tip um, to continue our ambassador tank. The bull hus is also a thing. You're pretty good. Well, let's go back one. See, because these, 
These things are literally twice as ex expensive to research as these. So if we can get some lower hanging fruit, we can get some, we can get some good benefits from some of these without, um, without having to spend too much time to grab them. Uh, I don't need, I don't feel the need to, to research the wrasse since we already bought them, and I don't want to add more than two of them. I think I think they are be just fine with two. Um, Bel-Air and Rass. Um, you know, I might still go for these guys. I mean, they're quicker and easier to research. They're not too hard on the tank. Um, you know, they, they eat crustaceans. We don't have crustaceans, really. Um, and it's just another, like I said, another check, another uh, box to tick here. Because uh, I do want to focus on filling this bigger tank with, with interesting stuff. The other thing I was looking at was this, the pie crust crab. Um, it is a crustacean, but it's armored. So um, we, we actually kind of want to get this thing sooner because we might be introducing things that like to eat crustaceans. But if the crab can grow big enough with, with its armor bonus, it, uh, it might be able to just you know, keep itself... Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go for a pie crust crab just so that we can place it sooner, uh, so that it can um, survive against uh, would-be predators. Uh, right. Just checking for new stuff. Oh right, so our um, cuttlefish, the stars of the show here. Uh, so these guys need rocks. These guys need lots of rocks. Uh, as far as how many we want to get in, wow, these guys are expensive. Um, we can go for, let's go for one, two, three of them. Uh, now, what's the view percentage on the common cuttlefish here? 65% chance. Which ain't actually that bad. Uh, we are going to need some rocks, though. Some, uh, I think some rubble will be the... the uh, not enough money. Okay. Uh, let's actually sell back one of you guys so that we can actually properly kick the tank out. Perfect. We'll add more stuff to it later. Yeah, that's fine. Now the other thing we want to do here is let's get that um, let's get that that um, feeding stick dispenser. Well, we don't have the money for it. All right. Um, who who uh, which which uh, talking platform? Yeah, you know what? We're going to hijack you. Instead of bragging about the blind cave tetra, um, yeah, the co common cuttlefish talk. That's more like it. Twelve prestige. So not only do we have this nice high prestige thing, we get to brag about it big time. But yeah, once we get a little bit more money in there, I'll get that feeding stick, give it to somebody, and then I'll make that... Uh, had enough money for the feeding stick. Excellent. Feeding stick dispenser. Go. Now, let's see who's going to get the honor. Who is our best feeder is the real question. I don't think we actually have anybody who's higher than a feeding level 2. Michael's already our high capacity feeder. Um... Let's see. I think what we might do is you're you are not allowed to uh, feed the hard things. Nobody. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through and all of our feeders. They are not allowed to feed the hard things. Yeah. Zephira, well, I want someone who actually has feeding as a priority. Yeah, Malena. I think Malena is going to be our, our high skill feeder. You're going to get the feeding stick. Um, 
and you know what? You are not allowed to feed things that require no skill. You are only allowed to feed the uh, um, the, the tricky things so that you can put your feeding your feeding stick to use. I think that's the that's the the, the best option here. All right, Boyd feeding. You're not allowed to do the high test one. Actually, you might. You're you're only feeding one. You're not allowed to do. You're only allowed to do the uh, the simple ones. Anyone who has a feeding skill of one is going to be barred from doing the the tough stuff. All right, your Zephyr can handle the the medium stuff. Uh, JC, you're not allowed to do the tough stuff. Yeah, the bloodworm designations for that. And then the bow is already barred from that. All right, good. I think we're good here. Uh, eventually, once once money starts flowing in a little bit more aggressively, um, we will um, um, we'll get ourselves. Um, some some sneakers to have our sort of our regular employees just move a bit faster. All right, unfortunately, the sand eels are kind of far away, um, but I mean they're not going to have to go and get the feeding stick every single time. But that should help things out here. Um, all right, yeah, it's just a chiller that needs repair. We're good. Um, Larissa has leveled up. Excellent. So, Larissa, I think, yeah, since you're primarily our talker, you just keep on talking. We want you to just keep getting better talks. All right, with a little bit more money, we should be able to have our um, um, our third guy here. What's what's our what's our um, fifty-five? Yeah, we need we need a better than fifty-five percent chance uh, for the for the cuttlefish here. Five ninety-one. Just a little bit more cash. Somebody buy a soda. Thank you. Oh, and here comes the uh, the big AOE uh, talk here. Oh yeah, we need a little bit more rocks. Let's get some live rocks here. Because they come with extra filter power for us. Yeah, both of our coolers are... Um, are, are the water is starting to warm up here. Where, where are our fixers? Seriously, where are our fixers? I do not want to have our uh, cold water tanks starting to starting to die. We're starting to get some bad prestige here. Uh, let's get a, another staff door here, just so it's easier for them to get to these. Okay, we're good. Phew. Crisis averted. It's 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 nasty when both of the chillers go down at the exact same time, and this is even one where we have some chilling power redundant too. All right, I think we're uh, I think we're in a good spot right now. Uh, money is starting to flow in. Um, Bartlett uh, Anita uh, exhibit A. Well, in our uh, in our next uh, thing, we'll uh, we'll consider that. Uh, we'll also consider. Um, our next uh, our next options here and deep up our prop tank so um if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment good bad or indifferent your feedback's always welcome so until next time this has been pinstar signing out see ya